This is SeeingEagles.com and The Richard Moody Show. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman, head men's and women's soccer coach, Richard Moody. Moody, you turn your attention after a bit of an up and down week for both the boys and the girls to two talented Lenore Ryan squads on Saturday. What's it take? Let, let's focus on the men first. Big win over Rivard, most goals scored last Saturday since 2004, and then a near upset of 11th ranked Young Harris on Wednesday. What's it take to get the guys ready for the LR Bears? Uh, <clears throat> it's a great, great question. You know, for us, we got to stay positive. Uh, the boys were backing up practice today and uh, working hard, and and they look sharp. You know, we're still fighting the the injury list with with problems with with some of the players that could undoubtedly make a difference in games. But uh, uh, you know, we're, we're staying positive and we're looking forward to LR. We're back to conference play. You know, and. Uh, you don't really have time to, to, you know, players just need to continue. They, you know, you win a game, you lose a game. You just have to turn around and get ready for the next one. As coaches, we have to make the adjustments where and when we can to, to try and correct the, the problems for the next game. And so, you know, I thought we had a great showing at, at Brevard. I thought we, we did everything that we were set out to do. And then arguably we had moments uh, last night there against Young Harris where, where we proved that we're playing with the top teams in the nation. And, and again, at the time where we, we took on Wingate, we were beating them for 88 minutes of a game and they were ranked within the top of the nation. So, you know, we're, we're right there with them and we're, we're right there with the best. And, and of course, you got the old saying, you got to beat the best to be the best. But, you know, we're happy with the boys, the attitude, the work rate. And uh, we just got to look forth to telling all right, you know. And like I say, win or lose on Saturday, uh, we don't have much time before we have to turn around again on the Wednesday. You, you bring up a couple of losses that happened toward the end of the games. How, how much about the boys getting to that top level then? Is about finishing. Yeah, you know, we, we tell them there's there's moments that define you uh, as a young man, and and you know we've we've got to step up and and you know kind of take take the opportunities and uh, make the most of those moments because uh, you know that that really is what define games. And you know, and it, a lot of people say you know there's is, there's no I in team and there's all this kind of stuff, and and it really genuinely takes a team to win games. It takes a team to win a game for 90 minutes, but there's minutes within a game that. Uh, an individual performance can really set teams apart, and we've got it. There, there is no doubt about it. We've, we've got it by the boatload, and, and you know, teams are scoring goals, and it's coming through certain players. We're scoring goals, and it's coming through everybody. I mean, we're, mm -hmm. we're, we're very versatile in, in scoring goals, and so you know, we're, we're excited. There, there are moments again that define us, but you know, we, we've got the right players in it, uh, here on, on, on campus that they can take those opportunities. So, is it bizarre that you have this level of chemistry with a team that features 12 different nationalities? Uh, yes and no. Uh, the common language is the game of soccer, you know, and, and uh, the, the style that we're trying to play. They all understand they've all come from a good level and, uh, you know, the, the camaraderie in the locker room, everything is, is perfect. You know, they're, they're a group of guys that are working together, working through the good and the bad. And, you know, it's, they're playing enjoyable soccer, Adam. They, you know, people that come and watch the games, they, they enjoy it because it's high intensity. It's, it's, you know, the boys are all working hard for each other. But, yeah, again, there, there's days where we're, we're off and there's days that we're on. We just got to fix those problems. But, you know, there's uh, the boys are doing a great job coming together and have done, especially in the short period of time that we had for, for preseason. Turn our attention to the women's team. And, uh, again, LR class across the board, both the men and the women. What makes the women's team for the Bears a, a tough competitor? Well, <laughs> they've been there and there. Uh, at the top of the table now for the last few years, you know, Cali's done a great job with them. They're, they're definitely a team that that has two or three players that can make a difference, um, you know, but they also have to come here. They have to play us and, and you know, it's like deja vu for the girls last year. It'd be hard to tell anybody that, you know, last night we were the better team, even uh, facing a 2-0 two, two defeat there, you know, but we were genuinely the better team. We just couldn't take chances in the, the final third, you know, but, you know, if you look at the Kataba game, uh, Arguably, even all the way through King and into Brevard, you know, the girls had had no problem. We've we've scored, you know, eight goals there within three mm -hmm. games, and then we didn't. We struggled to create chances yesterday, and uh, you know, I genuinely feel we do better playing to the, the girls. They play to the level of our competition. It's tough. We tell them just to play because they love the game and they'll always exceed the expectations. But you know, LR will be a good team. We know it, and we're going to have to. We're going to have to work hard uh, against them to, to get a result, but it's we need to get a result. Still, it seems like there's improvement from last year to this year. Goals were at a premium for your women's soccer team in 2012. This year, it seems like every game that somebody different's putting it into the back of the net. Yeah, you know, and we're excited. We're a young team, and so girls are stepping up, making a difference, and, and that's what we want. You know, it's uh, 
but we want to attract those girls to our program and, and bringing kids that want to make a difference, want to work hard and, uh, you know, we've got a fantastic group of girls and, you know, this season on the girls there's more so to play for than there is on the boys because there's always a chance to, to make it somewhere or do something and for us right now our goal is to, you know, focus on the conference and, and play well. You know, yesterday was a, a, an upset to us because, you know, we've got to focus on performance too and how are we playing. And, but, but again, you know, uh, we, we just got to readjust. We've got to try and hopefully again fight the injuries and, and feel the team on Saturday that can compete with arguably one of the top in the, in the conference. So, but we're, we're confident. We're confident in our ability. But, you know, if we show up, we we'll, we'll can give anybody a game. Richard, pleasure as always. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you. Carson Newman, Director of Soccer, Richard Moody. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier. This has been the Richard Moody Show, and this is CNEagles.com.